what better way to improve our instruction than to collaborate with fellow teachers to plan our lessons and examine its impact on students. The Primary 5 teachers from Taunan School formed a lesson study team to do just that. They wanted to help their students improve their writing. We realized that there were gaps in their writing and for some reason, before every composition lesson, we have scaffolding. When it was time for them to apply what we had taught, there was no transfer of learning. So we thought that lesson study might help us to make sure that this transfer of learning actually took place. What were the lesson study processes that guided the teachers to help their students become better writers? The lesson study cycle comprises four processes. Teachers had to study the syllabus and identify learning outcomes. Plan the research lesson collectively, conduct the research lesson and reflect to improve on the lesson as well as to check if they had achieved the learning outcomes. In process one of the lesson study cycle, the team identified their learning outcomes from the English language syllabus for their research lesson. So we want to find a way to equip our pupils with, with skills and strategies that they can apply in every composition. We're just not quite sure how to go about doing that. Um, if you have looked at the syllabus document for the writing uh, learning outcomes, you find that there are many SSAB and uh, so you will need to really identify exactly which ones. Because even this, this idea of gaps okay, in the story is um, quite a vague term. So uh, you have to really scope it. When we talk about gaps in their writing, what we mean is that there is no link from one idea to the other. We can't figure out you know, what happened in between. So these were the kind of gaps that we wanted to address. After establishing the focus of their study, the teachers discussed how they would go about achieving the learning outcomes for their research lesson. We wanted to ask better questions in class. We wanted the pupils to ask better questions of themselves. But we didn't quite know how to go about doing this. We were like, you know, what do we do? And then Joy introduced to us uh, different frameworks for asking questions. And we, after looking at a number of frameworks, we decided we were quite comfortable with Bloom's. So all of us, we went to do research. Um, we read up on it and uh, so that we'd be more familiar with the framework before we could actually use it to um, craft our questions. The team proceeded to process two of the lesson study cycle planning the research lesson. We normally ask questions instinctively, you know, but uh, when we had to follow a framework and then we realised that, hey, the way you phrase your questions would force the, the pupils to think in a different way. So we realised that questioning wasn't as simple as it appeared. Once we came up with the few questions, we actually came up with a lesson plan. And in our lesson plan, we have a lot of uh, things. Having put all of that together, it culminated into over three, three separate lessons. So when Joy came in, she said that, hey, we have to narrow our focus. And she suggested that probably we can actually look at the themes of the composition writing. And from themes, we can actually develop uh, questions that are relevant to, um, to improve the plot. Here are some snippets of the next process of the team's lesson study, conducting the research lesson. As Noraini taught her students based on the lesson plan that the team collectively developed, teachers acted as observers. They took detailed notes on selected students. They noted how each student's thinking progressed. They also documented the support for and barriers to student learning. These were all done in preparation for the post-research lesson discussion. Here are some lesson study protocols for teachers to note during the research lesson. Mm -hmm. 
The next process in the lesson study cycle is reflection. The team conducted a formal lesson colloquium in which teacher observers shared their observations of the research lesson, reflected on whether student learning outcomes were achieved, and suggested improvements. Um, initially, we thought it would work for pair work because it's quite open ended. But um, when they don't talk to their partners yeah. and they fill in their own individual mm. work, yes, that's yes. when we find that it's not as effective. Mm. Yeah. So, how, how can we improve that? I think because we, we didn't like maybe give them examples, like they should have elaborated on the sentences, they should have used dialogues oh. and connectors. Like okay. this one, someone stole my bag, my friend took my bag. No relationship between stole and took. So that is yeah. the problem. What's so, wrong here? So instead of yeah. working on the content, mm. they were working on technique. Yeah. We came to the conclusion that um, our questioning structure was sound. It's just that the way that we got the pupils to understand these questions and answer these questions, we needed to work on that. So in the next two weeks, um, we're going to try it out on another teacher's class. This class fits the profile um, of pupils who we feel need this kind of help with their composition writing. The primary five teachers of Taunan School and their head of department believe in the benefits of lesson study. For it to be successful, time has to be invested and um, the teachers need to sit down and really plan for, for, for this to be uh, well done. But I think with the amount of time and the effort put in, the outcomes is worthwhile so that um, the teachers hone their skills and this can be perhaps shared with the other level teachers eventually. As we bounced ideas off each other, um, we, we were learning. Then we come up with a, a good lesson. The children have a much better time in class. They learn better, they learn effectively. We learn to be better teachers ourselves, not just from our colleagues, but because we also had to read up, you know, so we hone our craft. After attending Ellis's professional learning program and as part of extended support, Ellis's master teachers and pedagogy specialists are happy to collaborate with English language teachers on lesson study as a form of inquiry.